Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to bind drop down list control from database using adword.net entity framework. And here we got the final output, the drop down list. Let's check the database table also. Here the country name, the C name, India, USA, and Australia. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC project. Go to file, new project. I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1. The project name is dropdown bind. MVC okay and from the templates I'm choosing MVC 4 okay and here the project is successfully created let's close this window go to solution explorer now in this project I'm adding the adu.net entity model right click the project name adword.net entity model and the item name of the model is drop down model click ok and from the model contents I'm choosing the first option EF designer from database next I'm creating a new connection Here the server name which is a SQL server after adding the server name I am selecting the database name sample DB is my database I am selecting that one test connection is succeeded ok And I want to save this connection string in the web.config file. The connection string name is a sample db entities. Click next. And the data objects, I'm selecting the tables. I'm expanding the db also. I'm selecting the country name table. Finish. And here we got the entity model country name which contains two columns CID and CNAME. CID is the auto generate column and CNAME is the country name. After adding the table name in the entity model, the next step is I am creating a controller. Go to solution explorer. I am minimizing the reference. I am creating a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click controllers add controller I'm selecting MVC for controller empty add the controller name is drop down DD controller add and here in the controller I'm adding the namespace the models using using the project name is a drop down bind mvc dot models. After adding the namespace, now in the action result index, our connection string entity name is a sample db entity. SD is equals to new sample db entities. I just created an object for the connection string. I'm adding view bag dot country names is equals to new select list sd dot the table name is a country names comma and here the first object is a 
सी आई डी एंड नेक्स्ट वन आई एम एडिंग द कॉलम नेम एंड हियर आई एम एडिंग द सी नेम सेमी कॉलम That's it. We have done the coding part in the controller, and now we need a view page. The action result index highlight and right click that one. Add view. The view name is index only, and the template empty without model. Add. And here we got the index view page also. I'm deleting the header tag index to. MVC drop down list tutorial. I'm adding center tag H1. How to bind drop down list from database MVC. Adding horizontal line at HTML dot drop down list. The first string name is a uh, country names. Copy that one and paste here. Comma view bag dot country names as Select list. I'm adding the select option here. Select country names, comma new style is equals to width 150 pixels. That's it. We have done the designing part in the index view page. but before run this project on google chrome the main important thing is go to solution explorer expand the app underscore start we need to configure the controller in route config.cs file notice here the controller name is a home which is a default one but our controller name is dd copy this one delete the home add our controller name and the action view page is the index only which is this one now it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output the drop down list so here the country names are binded into this drop down list control let's check the database table also Here the country name, the C name, India, USA, and Australia. That's it.